Hello there, my name is Miss Ballant. It rhymes with talent. And I'm one of the three agricultural educators here at Fairfield Union High School. So today I am going to record this video in absence of our open house so that you can get to know me and know what to experience when you come to high school. So some of my educational experience includes my bachelor's of science in agricultural education, which I received in 2018 from The Ohio State University. Currently, I am pursuing my master's in organizational communications from The Ohio University. I graduated in 2018, and when I did, I was hired here at Fairfield Union. This is my third year being the FFA advisor, and I'm really happy to still be here. So some awesome experiences about myself and my history include where I grew up. I grew up in Vermilion, Ohio, which is a very small town up on Lake Erie. It is very close to Cedar Point. And I was really involved in 4-H and FFA growing up, which inspired me to pursue this career in teaching agriculture. When I went to Ohio State, I was able to experience some really awesome things, including studying abroad. I have currently visited five countries outside of the United States, including Portugal, Spain, the Netherlands, Germany, and Belgium. Some of the best pieces of advice I can offer include studying abroad. It was some of the best money I've spent in education. Some class rules that you can expect this year include being on time and prepared to learn for the day, respecting the teacher, the classroom, and the other students, being responsible for your own learning, clean up after yourself when we are completing projects, and of course, keep all personal electronics put away. I teach three courses here in the agricultural department, including ag business, mechanical principles, and this year we will have an in-person work release program. So in ag business, some of the things that we will cover include the different types of businesses, what it means to be an entrepreneur, credit versus debit cards, as well as supply and demand. In the mechanics class, we will work on concrete, electricity, small engines, and hopefully welding this year. And in the in-person work release course, we will work on resume and cover letters, as well as mock interviews and how to properly fill out applications. Some key things you should know about me is that I am most accessible during the day from seven to three while I'm at school, through email. So if you email me, give me about an hour and I should get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but you can also expect me to be at the school until about four or five each day, Monday through Friday. If you wish to have a Google Meet session with me, that's totally fine, just reach out to me. However, I ask you give me at least one day's notice before you want to actually meet. So for example, if you plan to meet and want to have a session on Wednesday, you need to have emailed me no later than Tuesday so that I can schedule time to meet with you outside of the school day. I really enjoy teaching students with hands-on learning and project-based activities. So hopefully we'll be able to do some of that this year. I really enjoy having students learn on their own by giving them problems based in the curriculum and them exploring their own education. So be prepared to use technology because not only are we partially online, but I really enjoy using technology. I think it is the future for work experiences and I really enjoy using it in the classroom. Also, I have a lot of experiences in the agricultural department just from my personal time in FFA as well as in college. And I've gone through a couple of jobs in high school, so I like to use those experiences and storytelling to help teach the subjects that we are talking about in our unit. So be prepared to listen to some fun and cookie stories. A lot of what we do in the ag department will be taught over Google Classroom, just because that's one of the easiest platforms that we have. However, we will be using some online software throughout the year, including the AET, which is a software program that we use to monitor your supervised agricultural experiences. You will be very familiar with this by the end of the year, and it's a really awesome tool to teach record keeping. Some other software programs that we'll use for our curriculum include ICEV, Power Portal, Miller Open Book, Edulastic, Pear Deck, and many more. 
So be excited. Uh, we will teach you all the way through on how to use them and when to sign in. Some other things you should know about the Ag program is that we do some fundraisers in the fall and the spring. So in the fall, we sell meat, cheese, and fruit. And in the spring, we sell flowers that the students grow in the greenhouse. So hopefully we can have those fundraisers. They're really fun. You get to reach out to community members and we get to support each other. So that's one of the best things about this department is when you enter into the agricultural or FFA department, you really get to incorporate not only the values of the community, but the values of what this school holds. So it's really cool. Even if you don't have an agricultural background, you can still find interest in the different contests, the different meetings and the events that we hold. So some of the best advice I can give to new students to the program is get involved early on. Many of them get involved in their junior and senior year and they're like, man, I wish I would have started as a freshman. So give it a try. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to any of the three agricultural teachers here. We're a really cool bunch of kids and we really enjoy what we do. So once again, my name is Christine Ballant and you can reach me at Christine Ballant at fairfieldunion.org. I can't wait to see you here at the beginning of the school year.